Hello everyone, I am Dr. Eric Morrison. This is 7 out of 3, and I'll be covering trading education, more specifically Forex trading, using the TC2000 and TradingView platforms. Hello, this is the Stock Industry Review for the 15th of September. I'm going to start off with the VIX. And as you can see here with the VIX, we did have a daily spike up in volatility. Could be some more things to come, especially if it gets above this upper fractal here. Looking at natural gas, consolidating with it in this zone. It is a pinch, not a super pinch though. It's missing the RL270 down here. And it's showing some signs of price consolidation. 20 year also showing some consolidation right below the RL270 and the 200 at the same time, having difficulty getting above that liquidity zone. Two year is down, all below the Dragon. Five year is also down. 10 year is also down too as well. A lot of distance all the way down to the Z3 excursion Z3. Russell 2000 is consolidating within this band between the RL270 and the 200. Gold shot up on Friday with the potential with more price action to the upside if it gets above this overall fractal. Z3 is currently right here. It's bounced off its point figure tar uh, target and support level. And this was kind of a head and shoulders. It's failed. So if it gets above th this, it could uh, be a complete reversal for gold. S&P 500 also significantly went down. It's been hovering here at the RL270. More price action to the downside for next week. Same with the NASDAQ. We have more price action to the downside. We got all the way down to the Z3 excursion at 14500 Same with the Dow. Been hovering just below the RL270 and is showing true signs of weakness right now with this incredible head fake reversal. We got the Z3 excursion, Z3 and the 200 down here for, for price support along with this point figure support level. We'll see if it continues to go down. Dixie is continuing going up. Broke this J hook. Could have potential to the upside, which means the entire markets could be going down. We have all the way up here to 106.378 on the Dixie. Looking for this week's trades, we did Bank D for a $130 loss. Bull Z for a $1360 loss. Copper for $80 loss. DRV for a $1720 gain. Dust for a $60 loss. Fast for a $690 loss. FNGU. One of the biggest gainers, $2,530 gain. GDXD, $60 loss. GDXU, $880 gain. GLL, $120 loss. HIBS, $2,500 gain. JDST, $180 loss. JNUG, $490 gain. Huge gap to the upside, well above the Dragon. Nice uh, overall market open and close. Gold, $230 gain. Lab D with the $870 gain. Nugget with a $620 gain. Estow $130 loss. Kind of consolidating in this area. Success with the $860 gain. Nice gain on Friday though. SPXS with a $30 loss. SPXU with $37 loss. SRS with $330 loss. SRTY $550 gain. Nice price action there. All positive. SVIXI. Incredible run here to the last day. $808 gain. TBF with a $10 gain. TBT with a $300 gain. TBX with a $25 gain. Tech S with a $120 loss. T Triple T with a $1,120 gain. Overall gain on Friday was incredible. TYO with a $44 loss. TZA with a $280 gain. Yuko with a $595 loss. Udow with a $650 loss. Want with an $840 gain. WebL with a $220 gain. WebS with a $470 gain. And close it up with ZSL with a $370 loss. All in all for the week, we had two drawdown days, which was Tuesday and Thursday. But overall gains for the week was $10,408 on 1,000 shares. U.S. oil shot up to $91. Overall markets looking at China. Overall collapse here with their economy. Japan, overall gain here. Possible J-hook formation to the upside. A lot of resistance up here with the Z3 excursion. Taiwan with semiconductors also to the downside. 
UK shot up all the way up to the Z3 and two, RL270. And Australian dollar did shoot it up, but it also showed some weakness here on Friday. All the Magnificent 7 pretty much to the downside on Friday, bringing down the entire markets. NVIDIA and Netflix leading the way. Bitcoin shot up. We could be seeing a bottom here with the potential more price action to the upside if it gets above this overall fractal here. Well, folks, that's all I have for the stock indice review. We're currently conducting courses in Forex, futures, and stock indices. And if you're interested in programming in both PineScript and Python and auto trading, click on the links below. And remember, ruthless risk management. Have a great weekend, everybody, and I'll see you on Monday. Well, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like rumble button below and the subscribe button. And if you want more information, go ahead and click the course information links below. On the TradingView link and on TC2000, I have an affiliate link. If you open up a TC2000 account, you will receive a $25 discount using that link. Thank you for your time.